listening to the Cubecast. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cubecast. It's me, Christy, and oh hi, yeah, <laughs> Tom, yeah, and Tom. I'm here too. And today we're here with Hannah. Hannah is um, hashtag parkour mama. <laughs> Hi. Well, um, my first seeing you in the spotlight, um, first of all, I noticed your hashtag. And I was just like, are you kidding me? So I dug deep into your page and I've probably been following you for about a year and a half now. And you're a solid trainer. Oh, so props Thank to you. you. Yeah. Thank and, you so much. You know, and I was just talking to Tom before um, you clicked in here and I told him that you had a a garage set up. Yeah. Do you want to tell him? <laughs> I do. Um, yeah. Uh, well, my kids do parkour, too, and we had a little extra space, so I figured why not create garage parkour gym right <laughs> why not that's so, awesome um i was talking to some people that build motive move motive movement um i don't know if you've seen it bobby says gym mm-hmm. and right. they're like oh we could build it and i was like sweet so they came over for like five different weekends stayed at our house and they just bam finished it oh i just got it's goosebumps pretty. it's pretty <laughs> <laughs> i like it we actually play um freeze tag in there all the time the kids and I, it's kind of like the next generation of world chase time, I guess. <laughs> wow. They're awesome. <laughs> they're, they're super cool. Um, I was just curious on how, if, if your children are active in parkour, and then I uh, was scooting through your page earlier, and yeah, they're solid trainers too. <laughs> now, does your husband do parkour as well? Uh, no, he just works all the time. Well, he does golf, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, to me, that, that's very boring. So. Um, I agree. Uh, I like to use both sides of my body when I'm doing a sport. Exactly. I, so, I about that. Yeah, one-sided. Yeah, so yeah. I, I just, I feel when I'm done golfing, I do it for my dad. When I'm done golfing, I just, like, one side's aching and the other one's all, like, fine. I'm just like, this is not good. You just gotta hit the other side. <laughs> it's weird, yeah. Yeah, freak out freak out the other um, <clears throat> participants that you're playing with, right? Oh, I'm gonna switch it. Yeah, one. right. Oh. Actually, we do, we do go to top golf for fun, and I will say um, my skills are pretty insane. I uh, hit the golf ball and it went backwards and I almost hit somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a one in a million chance that I spin the ball so perfectly when you hit the top that it goes backwards. That's awesome. Um, anyways, that's uh, every that's time. Percent. No, that just happened once, and now I'm too scared to ever hit a golf club. So that's yeah, that's it. I'm done. Yeah, some sports aren't made for certain people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you play any sports when you were younger, like uh, gymnastics? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I wish. I wish I did gymnastics. Um, I did gym- gymnastics for like five lessons when I was like five years old. Mm. I swam. So I swam um, collegiately mm. in my life. Wow. So I think that's where like my training side comes out. I was a personal trainer. I used to having trained four hours a day. Um, it was my life. So mm. I've always been an athlete and I like doing physically hard things. I'm just not used to mentally hard things. Actually, I had a coach in swimming that said thank god there's water sports because hannah would never survive in a land sport she would trip over herself there was a quote <laughs> in high school and i could not believe you said that because of course that's land sports funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah um through my experience with the uh, people in the parkour community uh, they've always been a klutz that's true and it seems for me <laughs> When I trip up on my own feet, I kind of put my own flair to it now. It's like, oh, I, didn't trip. I meant to do that, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See, that's the beauty of it. Like, it's become a creative falling, beautiful falling. Why not? Yeah. Right? We're ready for our old age. When we're falling, we're going to have some flair. <laughs> falling down, breaking your hip. <laughs> but did you see that tumble? <laughs> <laughs> but it was beautiful. <laughs> So coming from swimming, that's, um, yeah, I guess that's a pretty drastic difference. Now going to climbing things, it's like the complete opposite. 
but in a way, it's almost an aspect of, like you could argue that swimming is an important part of parkour technically. It's just some aspect that no one actually trains. Because if you have to get somewhere, if your point B is on the other side of that river, <laughs> how are you going to do it, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, I would love a parkour competition mixed with swimming. I feel very confident about this. <laughs> that should be like a whole other category. <laughs> like a yeah. triathlon for parkour. I love oh it. Gosh, I would. I've love never love seen it. anything like I that. I would love it. I have very little confidence in parkour and you can very much see that in a lot of my stuff but when it comes to swimming i'm oh, very cool. confident so i think that would be very helpful i like it, <laughs> it comes <laughs> it through in your parkour i mess up a lot do you know what that really brings me to like when we were all talking about water sports with um or water i uh, guess yeah, sports with parkour like you, you would have to do like a dive maybe you have like um a 10 second breath like depth thing where you got to hold your breath go under a plexiglass thing or pick up a kg on the ground and bring it to the surface <laughs> you know something like why not yes yes yes, yes. It. i yeah i love going deep in the water i grew up doing like spear fishing and oyster diving and stuff like that so i'm all about that hmm wow you hear it her first <laughs> Where would you do spear fishing? I'm Japanese, so um, oh, my mom's side. Was that Japanese word? Oh, I said that's neat. Oh, <laughs> 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 I was like, what was that? Um, my mom grew up in a small, like, fishing village, a tiny little island off Japan. Mm. So I'd go there every summer, and we'd do all the fun stuff. We catch what's our own the, sea urchin. What's the name of the the village? Awashima. Mm, neat. Like, um, even Japanese people don't know about it because it's so small. <laughs> I think there's 200 people that live on it now. It's very rural. That's very good, though. I like that. Yeah, it's really cool. There's, we used to pee outside up until maybe like 10, 10 years ago. Like on the street, like in front of yeah. us. I mean, it was just. <laughs> Sometimes that's very wow. common. It's a village. It's, in, in villages, that's very common. Exactly. Um, even in like um, Adriatic. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, North, North uh, I'm trying to think like in uh, other parts of the world that I've seen that I've traveled and um, it's just basically a squat and nobody cares. Oh, totally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. So, I mean, sometimes it'd be nice to have toilet paper, but it's like, well, you know, <laughs> and I've seen them use their, 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 the shirts or their clothing just to. Shirts? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Leaves, maybe leaves. <laughs> All right, let's uh, switch gears here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're 36, correct? Yes. yes um, yes. how long have you been doing parkour? So I I got introduced to it. Um, let's see. Uh, right before I turned 29, mm. I did one lesson with Daryl Stingley. I am Wade Zilla. Wow. Because I thought you were supposed to do a lesson before you did open gym. The whole story is this Whole Foods guy would tell me all the time that I should do this thing called parkour, which is a total no more thing for a Whole Foods cashier to tell a pregnant person. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Um, so I was like, well, I'm like seven months pregnant. Let me wait for a while. So about like a year and a half later, when I had like one hour freedom a week, I started taking lessons because I thought you had to take lessons to do open gym. And the person who was teaching it was Daryl. So wow. that was my one hour of free time to myself a week. Beautiful. So I would probably say the first year, I probably only had like 30 sessions and I never did it outside. It was just that 30 hours in one year. So it, it's kind of hard to get better at something when you don't do anything very much. It was just kind of like a taste for it. Mm. It's probably like that for the first two years. Um, and then once my kids started start started school, um, then I was able to start doing it again. But you know, when you have... When I first started with Daryl, I had three kids, two and under. So he, I remember he'd be like, practice your laches at the park. And I'm like, what? My two-year-old's over there. My two-year-old's over there. I'm carrying a baby. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't curse. I don't know. I can't do that at a park. Have you been there with three kids? <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I didn't do parkour outside in the beginning. Well, fair enough. That's a... Uh... 
I was busy you're doing parkour trying to just keep your kids uh, <laughs> wrangled up yeah. probably yeah Running I mean around. twins they always run like separate ways on that oh like, yeah I it's like a, it's like a magnetic force that drives them away from each other. they repel each other <laughs> yes yes it's tough uh, so what keeps you training like what's like what got that spark going in you to you like even after having children that you wanted to keep on doing this um, let's see. So, you know, because I was always an athlete and then after being an athlete, I was a personal trainer. After I had my third kid and I was a stay home mom, I feel like I completely lost myself. Mm. I mean, I was, I was solely a mom. I was, I was a stay home mom. I wasn't working. I was at home, my three kids every day, all day, just mm -hmm. cooking and playing with them, taking care of them. And there was nothing that I did for myself. There was no identity for me. I was just a mom. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, yeah. So when I got a taste of parkour, I think in a, you know, in a couple of sessions, I ended up loving it because there's like a distinct goal, you know, jump from here to there or cap from here to there. And then I would feel accomplished. Whereas raising kids, I mean, what's the end goal? Like for them to be happy people that contribute to society in a good way. And when is that? When are you going to see that? How many years is that? <laughs> right. Yeah, it's a very long-term goal. <laughs> exactly. So I just like, I'm very goal-oriented. So I liked that part of parkour. And I think that's what drove me to it. Shit. <laughs> so going forward, you, you're, Tom told me that you're on a team as well. Yeah, well. <laughs> How's that work? It is not, it's not the most uh, professional team. Okay. You know the SoFlo movement, the South Florida yeah, so they have like a cheetah or something. So um, there's a so so movement, which is like, um, um, oh my gosh, what's that animal? I was looking at it. <laughs> so that, it has a capybara, right? A capybara, capybara thank you. yeah. <laughs> it's like a, yeah, so a it's, cuddly rat. Exactly. <laughs> uh, it's bigger than a rat. I actually have a pet. I actually had a pet rat. Um, I was I grew up with not very much money, so I was very excited about my pet rat. Um, until it ran away from me one day. But. Oh. <laughs> no, that happens. So now you're yeah. part of the, the Yo-Yo Rat Club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Kathy Club. Um, yeah. So the whole idea is like not to take yourself too seriously, which I actually really love. Um, you know, I, I definitely do take myself seriously in certain aspects, but you just have to have fun in life. So yeah, they're awesome. They're awesome group of guys. Cool. That's wicked. Yeah, it's good to have a, have a group of people. Have they all been training for like as, as long as you have? Like, have you did you start training oh, around the same time? Longer. Um, longer. Shoot, maybe. So I just met them. I just moved from San Francisco Bay Area to Charlotte, mm -hmm. so the East Coast, exactly a year ago. So all these guys I met since I moved here. So. Um, Let's see, they've probably been training for 10 years plus. Wow. Um, and yeah, so, and a lot of them live in Florida. So I just went to Florida last month. We're going to meet up and go skate snowboarding in a couple weeks. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's you, fun having a parkour crew because um, I never had that when I was in San Francisco. Um, it's different, and I think that was right? really lonely. It's yeah, totally oh my gosh, different. It's, it's it's so it's, it's so um, a community that everyone's so encompassing and they'll chat with you about stuff that you didn't think people would chat with you about and and when you get totally. together it's all jokes and you know yeah it's special but we also go deep too you know yeah. Like, oh yeah there's, there's no filters we just mm -hmm. and then we like sing and yell and in the car and we have our arguments and it's great <laughs> it's it's like a great big I I drive the you know SUV and they're all like in the car like putting on weird stuff like. So I call them like, sometimes I drop off my kids at school and I pick up these kids. So. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I still don't want to wear but a yeah. seatbelt. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Um, but yeah, so in San Francisco, I didn't really have that. Towards the end, like when COVID was starting to pick up, there were a couple of people I met up with outside. Um, but before that, I had never trained with anybody. Mm. I've just kind of taken lessons here and there. Mm. So this whole training outside or being with a group is really new. And I think it's been so fulfilling for me. Hmm. Has, have you found it uh, beneficial to, to your own training or 
is it detrimental in a way, like less focused? Um, definitely not that detrimental. I think whenever you're having fun, it's always a, a positive component to any training. Um, yeah. Maybe sometimes you don't get as much done because there were just more people or you were just looking for different spots. So people wanted to leave the spot that you were working on. But I think it, all the building blocks is just going up. Yeah, that's a hard thing of a... Uh, of I guess more with bigger jams, probably, but you can spend so much time just socializing. You're like, oh, yeah, right. I actually came here to do parkour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's very true. I, I Because I was a swimmer and I had my own lane, I think it's hard for me to be in like a social situation um, mm. because I do love people and I'd love to chat with people. So I'll just be on the wall. Um, and same thing. And I'll be like, oh, I was supposed to do something. <laughs> um, <laughs> but connections are great friends are great and yeah you can always put on blinders and do your own thing for a couple minutes so. yeah it's the parkour is the best it's almost the best way to socialize you as soon as it's like okay uh i'm just gonna go climb something for five minutes i'll be right back <laughs> we'll pick up this conversation once i've let out some energy exactly and i always love like that you know oh i'm trying this come join us or you know oh you can do this and just like pushing each other has been really cool and really nice yeah yeah that's what i love out of it um i don't do the same moves oh <laughs> you got a little one there i got a little one here Bill, you can do a lot of things you can start in the puzzle we love puzzles at our house nice. <laughs> what Oh, that's not nice. Well, the girls and I love puzzles. I love that. I do puzzles all the time. Um, he's a boy. He loves to move. He, nice. He loves the freeze tag. The next gen, hey? Yes. Um, I made them two batches of mochi today already, and he's asking for a third. Um, Save your mochi. You bake it in the oven so it's crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside, and then you wrap it around with like a homemade teriyaki sauce, basically just sugar and soy sauce, and then you wrap it with toasted seaweed. It's so fucking good. Oh, awesome. <laughs> wow. So That's I really neat. I love food. I could talk yeah. about it This is part four. Um, <laughs> do you, do you um, subscribe to any kind of uh, particular diet, like a keto or... Um... Food. I just food seafood. Diet. You just put it in your mouth. You seafood. Oh, no, food. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I. Uh, so, I, I, my body doesn't love dairy or gluten. Dude, I'm not doing mochi right now. Cute. Can I say hi? <laughs> this is my boy. I said the mochi in the oven. You said oh, the mochi in the oven. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Um, you want to say hi? hi? Oh, yeah, I just realized he can't hear you. Ah, there um, you go. <laughs> this reminds me, he's holding a bunch of stamps. They used to play with them like stickers when they were young. And it's like, no, they're money. That's hilarious. Stamps? Money. Money. Stamps that, no, step in. <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. Can you cook them, Marky? Later. Love you. I pray Love you. Okay. I want you to go talk to daddy. daddy. Go find daddy. We're gonna have to say this is the Bye cube daddy. cast featuring. Bye daddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know the young son. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's cute. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Okay. You know what? Thirty minutes. I've had. Go. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, promises promises <laughs> yeah right um food yeah so i um I, I think maybe also being japanese like there's no i feel like japanese don't like diets you know like we eat fatty food we eat i don't know white rice we eat everything but it's just all in moderation right so mm. the carbs that i eat the most are probably white rice and white potatoes which most people don't like to hear. <laughs> um, and yeah, when I'm at home, I'm pretty gluten and dairy free. Mm -hmm. But then when I'm out, I'll have like a great sourdough bread, you know, or like I like local places. Nice. Um, right. Yeah, good ingredients, real food. I try not to do bars or shakes. Um, I just 
feel like real food is better. So it is. real yeah. food, fatty food, white carbs. Yeah. And also veggies. I agree with the white carbs. I, mm-hmm. A potato never escapes my house. Oh, never. I just had fries last night. <laughs> Actually, I came back home with like two huge bags of white potatoes. And my husband's like, what is this? <laughs> He's like, you're probably the only like, you know, person in January buying white potatoes. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's hash browns in the morning. Come on. Like, <laughs> yes. I get it. I hear you. Uh, do you have a question, Tom? Um, change, change topics, I guess, a little bit. Uh, so you have three kids. How old are, how old are they? If you don't mind saying, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh. No. Um, so twins are eight. They're girls. And then my boy is six. Wow. Okay. So lots of energy right now. <laughs> so much energy. So much energy. And they, they do parkour with you, you said? <clears throat> yes, they do. It's super, it's so fun. It's, so fun. Even like we went to Greece this summer. Actually, Ooh. it was so cool. We were able to watch Art of Movement. I was gonna oh, ask. Oh really? Oh shit, that's yeah. cool. Yep. Wow. Mm-hmm. So um, my husband's kind of tired of me talking about parkour and really, <laughs> <you know? laughs> like being kind of obsessed with parkour. Um, but uh, I he coincidentally wanted to go to Greece, and I had coincidentally had seen some pictures recently of Greece. Um, and we coincidentally were there at the same time. Art of Motion that was there. So I was like, hey, uh, uh, <laughs> we can't not go. <laughs> um, so that's how it happened. <laughs> it was wonderful. It was awesome. It's um, I love exposing my kids to people of such high level so they can just see like, what yeah. can be possible. They're real. They're real people instead of on a screen. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. On a ship. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that's going to be really interesting, I think, with the level that kids are exposed to now. It, it, it's going to be like their their standard. Oh, totally. right. Like as these levels oh, keep totally. progressing, kids like, yeah, that's normal that someone just did like a double side flip. Exactly. Into like a precision or something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> normal. Well, the funny thing is that they know Bob, too. So they're like, oh, oh yeah, Bob, he's Bob, right, right. Know? Like, they're like, oh, that's a total normal thing. <laughs> he's such a goofball. <laughs> Oh, he's such a good fight. It's so funny. The difference between Daryl and Bob. I mean, you cannot get any more different. <laughs> oh, so I go to I go to Bob once a week now. Oh, neat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So that's it like shows. a comparison of the two people. It really shows. Judges. You can tell um, you're so, you can tell between um, almost like a generation of your training because um, in your past couple of videos, you can tell your there's something changed and that's awesome. Yeah. Neat. Yeah, definitely. Been two working on yeah, two very true. different styles of, of training. Hey. Mm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's uh, two different people, two st- different styles. <laughs> you cannot like, get more completely. different. <laughs> so different. Um, but because, um, you know, I was a personal trainer, had swam in college. I think Daryl's like very strictness worked mm. well. Um, I think it's hard for him to kind of understand <laughs> how scared I was. Um, you know, mm. as a mom of three, you're always thinking like, oh, you got to plug the electrocution or electrical, whatever outlets. You're thinking about all the things that could go wrong so you could be safe for your kids. Yeah. So it's hard to start parkour thinking of all the things that could go wrong. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> you've just yeah. been training your brain to think of every possible <laughs> exactly. bad outcome. And exactly. attack it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I did really like his like kind of like repetition and practicing certain movements over and over because that's that was how my brain works as a trainer. Um, but at this point, it's like fun to like work on flips and things like that with Bob. Yeah. And goofy yeah. movements, like goofy, silly, yeah, like weird goofy movements that you would never think to do. Yeah. He's like, let's try this. And I'm like, cool. <laughs> Yeah, that's wa- watching Bob. I definitely have that a lot where I have to rewatch things several times just to be like, what did he just do? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, my brain cannot comprehend. Yeah. 
<laughs> I love that. I love that parkour isn't going to be stuck in a certain kind of way. Like um, most sports, it's like uh, these are your boundaries and like don't there's nothing more after that. If you have a, an idea for a trick or whatever, that's cool and everything, but it's not technical enough to be a part of said sport. Where parkour, you can see um, where it was just basic Kongs, pre's, sides, you know, corks, whatever, right? But now it's like you're throwing like an A-twist and this and that and blah, blah. It's just coming at you. And kids are like 13 throwing these weirdo fucking movements. And it's breaking like the older generation's minds because it's like, <laughs> that's crazy. So like, yeah. Where are the young kids younger than that? What are they going to be like? It's like, <laughs> right. You see Parker? this? Have you seen Parker? Parker? No. Yeah, Parker. Parker trains under Bob, as well. Um. Oh, look at that. Parkour. So. Okay, I will. I will. Or is it Parker familiar. Parkour? It's the two words. <laughs> is this a young child? Is this a young kid? Yes. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I will check him out. He's bananas. You know what? Okay. Maybe I actually might have seen videos. I think Bob might have shared something. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. It's really fun. It's really fun. And then meanwhile, I'm like standing there being like, I'm going to do one flip. I'm going to do one flip. <laughs> but learning flips in your 30s is really scary. I don't do really flips. scary. Mm. I'm 47 and I don't do flips. I like twists. I really like to get a flip down, but like yourself i'm thinking well i have to go home after this like gotta be able to exactly move into my 60s like so you kind of <laughs> take that risk assessment but i still want to do it. i'm like okay. i still do the training i do all the setups i do all the like the progressions up to it do i throw it do i hug it no <laughs> <laughs> is, is there any um steps that they've um told you about like giving you advice on and on like overcoming your fears for mm. this like any any like process because um, they must do something themselves <laughs> to right. do what they do well i don't know daryl um I, i'm sure he has fears but i think he forgets how that works bob <laughs> i think he's bob is someone who um they're very different so daryl is very much like okay you know you can body can do it just do it right mm. um bob will be, will change it up. So you commit to something that's different to kind of get you, you to commit to that. Right. Sense. Um, I mean, I think both work great in different situations. So it's interesting that I think just nothing is more helpful than reps. Just reps, reps, reps. I'm not used to, I'm used to, um, you know, in swimming, you push yourself. It's, mm -hmm. it's the um, the pain brain that you turn off. Right. I'm good at that. I can push myself, you know, to a very uncomfortable level. But with parkour, you have to turn the fear brain off. And I've never had to do that before. Right. And that's, that's a really interesting thing about parkour. I'm really glad you mentioned those. Because you literally have to trick your body into doing parkour. Yeah. You do. Yeah. Like your, your body doesn't want to run toward the wall. No. But what do you do yeah. when you get there? You're training your body reps to climb up it or to you know, do whatever trick off of it, you know, but you just got to run towards a wall, a brick wall. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you're going to climb yeah. up. Yeah. Maybe not, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so you do it. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's definitely a, a mind. mind bug. Precision's yeah. at height freak me out and I have to talk myself into it. Totally. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's fun. a. It's uh, like, I mean, obviously, parkour is a very athletic um, endeavor, right? Like, you have to be strong, fast to do things well. But the cap for it, I feel like, is never physical. Like, your body's okay. going to be capable of doing so much more. Of than your brain is totally totally you know? i i want to get to a point where it's like the gap is a little bit less yeah because i feel like physically i can do more just gotta get the reps in so i can push my brain or expand my brain i should say yeah. <laughs> expand yeah. expand the comfort zone not push right. yourself out of it yeah I a lot of that is 
time commitment too though totally like are you are you training a lot these days is it like Um, yeah so i've been training this past year i've trained more than i ever have in my life nice um so that's probably why i've had the most benefit the year before that was really tricky because of covid Mm -hmm. my kids were at home and i was the teacher um (laughs) so i literally for like a six month period i think i moved my body maybe two hours i mean i literally didn't move my body so Mm -hmm. um and then the first two years of parkour, I had just been introduced to it. So I would really say, like, my real training has just kind of started this year. Um, I had one of my good parkour friends just moved away. And then one of my other good parkour friends um, went to Lebanon, back, went back to Lebanon for six weeks. So I've been mm. kind of lonely for the last, like, five weeks. So I kind of just picked up random stuff, like rock climbing and silks, um, cool. which I feel like still have a correlation to parkour. And for sure. Just yeah, like understanding body movements better, and I think mm-hmm. silks has been really helpful because I don't like being upside down, and I don't know what my body's doing upside down. So I think that's actually been really helpful. Mm-hmm. I noticed you do um, acro yoga as well. Oh no! That so literally the two times I've ever done it, I was just oh, <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty much. I, yeah. uh, that's it. Um, I love movement. So if any of my friends yeah. is like, "Hey, let's do this," I'm like, "Shoot, let's do it." Nice. Um, so, yeah. Well, you pull it. Yeah. That's important too. Like, people shouldn't feel limited to um, being like I'm just doing parkour. Like, Agreed. try everything, different things, and it'll it'll help it'll help you for sure. It'll benefit yeah. your parkour in some way. Exactly. And Especially obviously, as a personal trainer, <laughs> right? Um, and because I was a personal trainer, like, obviously I'm like really into, you know, weight room and things like that. I very much believe that that's like injury prevention. I know a lot of parkour right. people don't do weights. Mm-hmm. Um, I think everyone should. Mm-hmm. So I do that twice a week. And that like fulfills like my, like, ah, you know, <laughs> it's a different fulfillment that I get. Yeah. So what, what is your background with, with personal training? Like you... You did that for quite a few years? Yeah. So in college, I studied exercise biology with physiology emphasis. That was my major. And I went to Equinox in San Francisco. And I worked there as a personal trainer on Pine Street uh, for, how long was I there for? I don't know, four or five years. Nice. Um, Yeah, it it was awesome. There were days that I had like 12 or 13 clients in a day and wow. it was it was i was i was hustling i was hustling yeah. um, but you kind of have to right yeah yeah it was fun i worked six days a week um but yeah i really loved it because i felt like i was able to help people and mm-hmm. avoid injuries if that makes sense right because the financial district is a lot of you know executive guys and for them they're not necessarily training for a triathlon although i did have some iron man triathletes um but to keep them moving in a way that they're not going to get hurt climbing down the stairs or walking down the stairs or, you know, or they can go a hike that they haven't been able to go to for a long time. So that was very fulfilling. Um, it was really fun. There you go. Okay. But I, I guess I can see the, maybe your appeal to parkour, like having that functional movement, right? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, totally. Um, I just wish that there's like a drug or a pill I could take for the fear part. <laughs> right. I feel you. That's, that's honestly, that's my biggest thing with my own training mm-hmm. is getting over my own, getting out of my head. Getting out of your own bit. way. Yeah. Totally. Just, like those run ups where you want to go do something, then like you're going to take off and you just, eh, oh, no, my, my, Brain doesn't want me to do that right no. now. Exactly, exactly. That's, and then that's, that's when you hurt yourself, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, the amount of injuries I've gotten is like pretty substantial. I had so many of my friends try to convince me to get out of parkour, especially when I sucked a lot. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. My so my husband was literally giving me every single option. He's like, I will, I will have you, I will pay for anything else you want to do. Anything else. <laughs> do anything else. Because I kept on getting injured, and all my friends are so conver- like concerned for me because I would just be so frustrated myself. Um, and they're like, "You're not even having like, are you having fun? Like, you're getting injured. You're not having fun." And my mom would be like, "You're 
tormenting your body. You're a terrible mom for doing this to your in front of us. It's like, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> and they also do even have like parkour friends. I'm like, why am I doing this? Like, it's so lonely and isolating. I'm just getting hurt all the time. <laughs> but I really like it. So that's why I kept on going with it. Yeah, there's uh, something about it, hey? Yeah. Something about it. You just can't. Yeah, it's I'm like, um, it's yeah. What, what, so you mentioned injury. Have have you really like injured yourself? Cast your foot? Um, you know, sprain something? Like yeah. So I uh, I broke my skateboard wrist, and um, I remember one of the one of the younger, really good European guys came up to me. He's like, "Don't worry, like that heals so fast." I was like. Yeah, but how old are you? And when did that happen to you? Because I'm like right. in my 30s. So I was in a hard <laughs> cast for three months. Um, and then I went to a soft cast. Um, let's see. I've also torn my calf. I Ooh. have. Yikes. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've hit my teeth. I had a dentist friend actually smooth it out for me. Um, I, I actually have to get fillers in my chin now because I uh, damaged my chin so bad that it's like uneven on the bottom now. So I get fillers in the <laughs> So you're happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really funny. <laughs> Neat. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, just I mean, a lot of sprained ankles yeah. and torn shoulder, but I think that was actually ski related. Um, I did the same. Yeah, I mean, there's, yeah. Uh, so, but, but yeah, it's, I mean, there's just definitely a lot of stuff that happens. What do you do when you have those injuries? Do you go to see a chiropractor or physiotherapy or just do it on your own? Yeah. So um, my husband calls me Jeff Curry because that's the amount of body work I like to get done. <laughs> 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 like, that's easy. Um, uh, yes. <laughs> um, so I love acupuncture. I love chiropractor. I love, I think it's really important for people to get massages on a routine basis. Um. So, I do all those things. Yeah, and I think it helps. I do all Stretching, that obviously, and obvious. meditating. D- meditation. And visualization. Right. And yoga, do you mm. also do yoga as well? I, um, I, I go in and out of yoga. So, sometimes mm-hmm. I, like, go to a few classes. I haven't mm-hmm. done a class in probably, I don't know, five years. But I'll just mm-hmm. do it at home. I have, like, my little yoga spot that I really like where the sun hits it perfectly. Nice. <laughs> and I just like play super chill music and just Love like it. shut my eyes and do passive yoga. That's wonderful. Um, I'm really into meditation myself too, um, consciousness and whatever, whatnot. And uh, I think it's a real game changer when you have 10 minutes to yourself a day to recognize things and let things go. And I really bring that into my parkour pa- practice as well to get out of my own head. So it's like, you do that self-talk to yourself and you're like, okay, you practice, you vision this in your meditation, you know, you've done this a hundred times and it's, you know, 101 right now and you're going to stick. <laughs> I think it's really important for everyone and not, you know, not just parkour people or I think it's just everyone in their life should maybe find a practice at one point in their life just so that yeah. they can get a taste of it. Maybe if they don't want to continue with it, that's cool. Come back to it yeah. later not but it's just something the spaces are unknown inside of there you know yeah i mean honestly i've always thought the world would be such a great place if everyone can have calm minds be outdoors and get hugs <laughs> tactile touch totally hug a tree hug a person, <laughs> you know yeah get into yeah. nature it's it's um it has a free nature nature has a frequency that we're so disconnected from and um, if you do go on a hike or even do parkour in nature, you're going to get this revitalization that your body knows. Totally. Totally. Like when you're walking barefoot through somewhere outside. Yeah. Get that energy. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, Tom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite questions is, uh, what is your favorite move? Like if you're going to like put down a line, you definitely are going to put this in there. <laughs> um. I feel like I don't have enough moves to have a favorite. <laughs> oh, really? It's not like, um, like I like throwing down a cartwheel. It's not like my favorite, but I know I'm going to put it down. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. okay. Um, 
a precision. <laughs> a pre- oh, <laughs> Literally sweet. Just like a, like a single jump. Mm-hmm. I feel like I feel the most comfortable with a single jump. So even if I, even if I have speed coming into a jump, I don't, I'm not sure if I've ever done a jump that was bigger than any jump I couldn't do standing. Mm. Right. And that's where I'm going to be able to do a very big running jump. So what's your, in your feet or measuring tape, what's the longest, what, what's your precision uh, um, length? So I haven't measured in a really long time, but I think two years ago, I did uh, eight feet, seven inches. Fuck yeah, from, damn. From, from, a, from a wooden box to a wooden box. That's solid. So... Yeah, I mean, I, I train my legs. I actually work out with some football boys, so I, I know my legs are strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's swimming, right? Uh, well, the the train. So I train with the football boys right now. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times we'll do the same weights, um, and they're like three times my weight. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you mean the football they're boys? Big, um, like NFL players. You work out with NFL players right now. That is so uh, solid. <laughs> that is so solid. <laughs> so they're oh, like shit. defensive. Um, they're defensive guys. They're big. They're big boys. Wow. So, oh, yeah. So I, I really want to be able to utilize the power that I know that I have. Um, and I, I haven't been able to use it yet because my mind and my brain is not there yet. But um, I'm excited for when I can. I'm speechless right now. I, I think that'll just take just a little bit of time. You just like have to let your mind catch up. Cool. This is going to be repetition for sure. Right. When you are weight training, do you like do you do you try to do um, like more explosive, like Olympic style <coughs> lifts, or do you tend to go more controlled and like slower? All of it. All Both. Of it. Um, yeah. So I don't like to think when I work out or do movements. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm very coachable. My, I don't know if this is a compliment or not, but my high school coach always told me that I was like a dog that you just like throw a bone and I would just go get it. Like no questions <laughs> asked, I will just do it. So, um, so that's, you know, when I'm with the guys, like I just, I just do it. So yeah, sometimes it'll be slower movements. Um, sometimes it'll be fast movements, just like three reps. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, right. So, and it's great because there's also obviously like, mobility and balance involved it's working also the little muscles to make sure there's injury prevention so right yeah it's fun yeah damn that's so solid that's a uh, weight training has taken a backseat for me these last couple of years honestly it's been more calisthenics have that's you do you do any of that for for your, your training where you just um, want to just do some body weight training yeah, I I love bodyweight training. Um, I think it's really important. I like. Do you mean in terms of bar or like handstands? Both. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, for example, like I this year I am going to, <laughs> am yeah. going to I am going to um, get down a muscle up. I I feel Me like too. that's all rhythm. Yeah. I really so, want to do a muscle up too. Yeah, get it done. Yeah. It just looks so good. It's going to feel good. Let's it do it. Doors for other. Okay. Okay. Let's Boom. Yeah. Love it. Okay. <laughs> muscle up challenge here. Okay, we got it. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, what's your reasons for a muscle up? Um, I mean, it's just going to help with parkour, right? So, yeah. when a chick does a muscle up, it just looks cool. I know. <laughs> I, I want to be able to do like those like awesome. Uh, Oh my gosh. Top outs. Oh yeah. Climbing walls. Yeah. I struggle. I do them fast. Yeah. So you get your muscle up, the top out comes along with it. It's your like little uh, plus bonus thing when you get your uh, muscle exactly. up. Exactly. Exactly. Like super fast and super oh, I can't quick. Wait. Yeah, can't I wait to show you. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to do it. I'm so excited. It's 2022. It's, it's going to happen. Um, and then I'm working on my handstands now. Um, I used to be really scared of handstands or going upside down, period, um, mm-hmm. up until about um, a few months ago. <laughs> yeah. So I'm 
I feel like in the parkour world, everyone does handstands. It's like a thing, right? Because you, you're all not scared of anything. So. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Just, so. Yeah. Lots of the yeah. slow exposure to different things in parkour. Like really a handstand. I practice them, I guess, or over the years, I practice them a lot. But I've had not a lot of practical uses for, uses for parkour. Like maybe I'm more comfortable with a dive know. Kong, but. Um, like doing things like aerials or. <laughs> I, like more the, I feel like the progression to like an aerial, I need to be able to like know where my body is upside down and be able to like mm. do do a, a really good cartwheel which would be a really good handstand right i might be i might be like getting really technical interior um it's probably not as important but the way i see handstands it's really good for your uh to do inversions it's nice to get um more blood to your brain because it just oh, totally. and yeah pushes it and, uh, I get red dots all over my. Do you guys get red yeah. dots all over? Oh yeah. My face? yeah. Oh, it's totally. terrible. Just a little burst blood vessels from. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but the more and you do them, they go away. It goes away. Okay, yeah. good. So it's not like the Asian glow. The more that I drink, the less it goes. No, away. no, it's not. Like <laughs> <laughs> Flushing. That's what that's called. Yeah. Some yeah. Uh, blood types uh, flush harder than others. <laughs> yes, I flush very hard. <laughs> Some people yeah. get those bulbous noses sometimes. <laughs> oh, Rudolph. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Tom. A lot of people uh, don't like going upside down. That's probably when I ask people about getting into parkour, why they wouldn't is because they say they, they don't like to go upside down. Mm-hmm. But if, mm-hmm. handstands are great for that. If you just build up the time in a handstand, it's amazing how fast your body can adapt, like make those changes. Right. Because a lot of people right away, right, they always have that, like, it feels like their head's going to, like, pop oh, or totally. something, like the pressure, but you just do it a lot and it goes right. away. Like, it so, stops uh, happening. That's awesome. I mean, I used to be scared. Like, I was, I used to be scared <coughs> of being even remotely upside down, but I used to be scared of doing Kongs. Me yeah. <laughs> well, so. I mean, if you look at any movement, there's a reason to be, like, freaked out by it (laughs) you know there's always something that could your hands could slip your feet could clip something Mm -hmm. and pretty much everything i see all those yep (laughs) you know but that's what that's uh, for myself i'm i'm kind of a repetition person too i guess like daryl it's just like you just do it a lot until you don't think about it anymore right second nature totally yes 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 I know. I want to get to a point in the parkour where it's kind of like swimming. I remember I would be swimming, mm. and all of a sudden I'd come to and be like, "What am I doing? Where am I? Oh, I'm in the water. Oh, I'm swimming right now." Like I just had no idea what I was doing, you know. So, <laughs> <nice. laughs> well, that's a good sense of consciousness right there. Totally. Oh, totally, totally, yeah. Uh oh. Quiet, a little moment, moment, moment of silence. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if we asked you this, mm. but what guy, what was your first like um, introduction to parkour? How did you even hear about it? Oh yeah, the Whole Foods guy. When I was grocery shopping, it was like seven months. Pregnant. It was like literally just the cat, like the cashier telling you about parkour. Yeah, he told me about it for probably a whole year. Was it someone who yeah. trained? Yeah, well, not seriously, but yeah, he had taken some classes at Cal and things like that. So he was just like, it's super cool. You would love it. And then my, all my mom friends were like, what? The cashiers don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> they were offended. <laughs> well, 10 points to that guy for, for the recommendation. Right. right? So, um, so is it true every time I bother people constantly about parkour, it's going to stick to somebody? Is that what you're yeah. telling Okay, because I think I just become annoying after a while. <laughs> like I just keep on pushing it, like you know, like I'm in some kind of cult. Hey, eh? like oh, you gotta try this kind of course. You're gonna love it. <laughs> no, I think it's great. I think it's great to like just okay keep on bringing it up. Um, 
Actually, Good. a lot of my friends who were urging me to like quit, um, I feel like some of them have gotten their kids into it now. And they were like, I didn't even know about parkour until you started doing it. So it's been really fun. I've probably had, I don't know, seven, eight moms now tell me that they joined their kids in parkour because of me. That made me so happy. Oh or God, just in general, so like, good. yeah. Or I just like have like other moms tell me that they, you know, they're like, well, you started this when you're 30, so I could start something else too. And so that's been, I think, the best part. Love it. This whole journey. I think, I think that's really important. Like parent, parents can realize that they can also do this. It's not right. just for their kids. Right. Exactly. Uh, well, you want to uh, get into the tops? Well, I... I have I have a selfish question here for oh, okay. myself. <laughs> Go I'm ahead. gonna have I'm gonna have my first kid in a couple months. Oh my gosh! Congrats. Do you have any advice on balancing being a parent with doing parkour? Mm, good <laughs> one. Good one. Ooh. It definitely gets a lot easier when they are able to walk and run, and they want to do parkour. Mm -hmm. It's pretty hard. It's I would say not to be sexist or gender you know but I think it's especially if the mom is nursing it's a little bit harder for her mm -hmm. Whereas, like for example if you're at the park and there's a mom and dad and a baby and the mom is breastfeeding then the dad is a little bit more mobile <laughs> you know right I mean? um so I feel like there's a difference there mm. so you know for example when I was nursing the twins there was no way I could have done parkour because I I only had 30 minutes no I only had 15 minutes every two in it, two hours and 15 minutes oh my to God. myself. And right. that was around the clock. clock. So, um, you know, I think it will be a lot better for the kids to move in the beginning, just try to get some sleep. But mm -hmm. just yeah. <laughs> take, take, the, take the baby with you to the park. They're so... One is an accessory, is what we say. When you have one baby, you can wear the baby Right. It's an accessory, right? You right. have two and they start going di different directions and that becomes yeah, yeah. a little bit more of a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But one baby is a yeah, accessory, two is a lifestyle. So I love it. They be with you wherever you go and you're good. Yeah. You're going to be right on the front. <laughs> right next exactly. to the heart. Now, do you have to, um, is parkour something you try to, I don't want to say push, but try to lean your kids towards or do you just want to just throw them at everything <laughs> i've thrown them at everything um they but i think it's pretty natural for kids to not be as interested in things that the parents are not as interested in and be more interested in the things that the parents are interested in um yeah, okay. i was never huge into ballet and so maybe that you know i took them to the lessons and we talked about it but i wasn't like let's practice ballet all the time um right. so they weren't huge into that hmm. um they're they're kind of cool with soccer. Um, you know, Asian, we do all the math stuff. So we did like abacus and things like that. It's not really a sport. Yeah. But <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, and uh, I think, I think when they're this little, they want to be with mom and dad. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you're in the parkour gym, they want to be with you. They want to do what you do. They look up right. to you. So I think part of it's that, you know, and that's been really cool and really fun. Um, but they generally do like parkour, although there are moments, obviously they'd rather like be watching TV or something, but they mm -hmm. enjoy it. And there's one, one twin that is specifically my mini me. Um, she always wants to do everything I do, wants to be with me all the time. And, um, she really, really loves parkour. That's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Thank so you. I love it. Oh, shit. Man. And if they're eight already, then that's, a uh... They're going to be doing some, probably some good challenges already. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Just wait yeah, till ten rolls it's around. Fun. Yeah. I know. Like they're going to. I just can't wait till like, this next gen shows up and just starts mind blowing everyone out of the waters. Like. Oh, totally. Especially with an inspiration like you to follow. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's honestly so good. Like. There has to be more, more parents. I mean, yeah, just the parkour is not 
just a kid's thing. People can do it. It's fun. It's natural you know? movement. Yeah. Exactly. It's natural movement. And also, you can be creative and, mm. you know. Have some fun. Roll around exactly. on the grass. Get some grass. Exactly. Don't chew on exactly. some dirt. It's not going to hurt you. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If it does hurt, you'll just take a little bit longer to heal than kids. So <laughs> <fine>. <laughs> or a lot longer, but it's okay. Yeah. It, just, it just men's back stronger, so we all shin our, <laughs> our top of our tibs. You know, we know how that is. And, oh, and, yeah. And that oh, skin that grows back is so much tougher. <laughs> like, not a good so thing. I mean, every time I wear a dress, seriously, I get yeah. not compliments. Um, they're not <laughs> I, love, I, love I, love, I love the high socks. I love the high socks that you wear in your training. That's that's a really um cool style. I really uh, okay. So uh, um secret, I don't wear it all the time. I probably wear it like a third of the time. Mm -hmm. I actually have shin guards. Do you really nice? I do. I've always um, I will say that. <laughs> I will say though, like I've paid my dues. My shins are messed up, so yeah. I paid my parkour dues. Yeah. And now I I am treating myself to to it every now and then. Um, like if I'm outside and it's like a super hard brick, I might do it to make, to make myself commit to something. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think that's the thing about parkour. A lot of people are like, oh, you can't do, you, you can't do that kind of stuff. You can't put on safety, you know, gear. But I'm like, well, Why but not? what if it makes me happier? What if it makes me better? And I've already gotten all my injuries. <laughs> I already paid yeah. my dues. So please just let me wear it. Um, I love it. <laughs> that's how I feel about it. And also, I think that would, honestly, I think that would make the intro to it a little bit easier for other people to start. Because I know that I've had people that I try to get into parkour, and they're like, well, you know, I shit myself, or I sprayed myself, or I did, or did this, and I got a bruise, or I already got a cut from it. I don't really want to do it anymore. But if you allow easy protective measures, and they, you know, can learn through it, then maybe it'll be a little bit easier. So I think... Um, just don't hate on that stuff. Is what yeah. I feel like. It's fucking so smart. That's a good point. Especially just some, like light duty protective stuff. Exactly. It's not like, like I'm taking like enhancement performance stuff. No, yeah. it's not. Like, no. <laughs> just a second. I, before I do this jump, I'm just going to do some steroids real quick. <laughs> For safety. For safety. For safety measures. For safety measures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, shin pads yeah. I could see a big, as a big one. Everyone oh, yeah. do parkour long enough, you're going to have something on your shins. Yeah, I mean, there's I, like literally there's a point where I started wearing makeup on my shins when I get dressed up. Like if it's like a fancy mm, event course. and I don't want everyone talking about my shins and how, well, you know, what do I do to mess them up so much? Um, I have makeup on them. <laughs> yeah, I get it. You do have badges. <laughs> Yeah, that's um. Yeah. <laughs> you said badges. Yeah. Badges, like your shins are badges, like you yeah, know, like you, you got. <laughs> Sorry, I should clarify. Um, so yeah, that might be something I might bring to uh, on the table when I'm tra training youth. Um, you know, maybe bring your soccer shin guards. You know what I mean? Like, why not? Because or, I know a lot of yeah. youth are really scared of that, too. And it's embarrassing for them, too, right? They shin themselves. Hey, are you okay? Yep, yep. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so that actually happened. So I'm getting some of my kids' friends into it, and one of them came over, and he scraped himself, and he kind of just had to run away, you know, for a while and just disappear, and then he didn't really want to do it the rest of the time. So of course. Had, had that not happened, it would be a different scenario. Um, I would say so the flexible ones, that are made for like bikers are way better than the not the ones. hard ones. Mm. Oh yeah, no, those are not good. Dang, because I'm mm. hard. Cool. Oh, <laughs> do you, does it work for you? No, uh, I'm gonna try them this summer. Oh, I'm gonna see Why how. Try report back. It's okay, like cool. Because the uh... pro, it's like the flexible ones. They're kind of like yeah. socks. Yeah, and they have like little bands inside of the sock kind of thing, just like a a little bit of a protective barrier, uh, or like a steel oh, okay. shank or something. Uh, yeah, those are the soccer ones, but the ones, okay. they're the biker ones, yeah. they're like, rub, they're like, I don't know, thin pads of, thin, I, I, I don't know, materials. It's like yeah. squishiness. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so, um, um, like on mountain bikes, the, like the, yeah, like exactly. sock, you put on a whole yeah, yeah. sock, I think, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Exactly. It's like that. Okay, cool. It's probably like stun pads. 
you know, have a little bit of <laughs> exactly. impact. Uh, exactly, right? Right. I know. Mean, oh. People tell me that, like, I need to start doing parkour in, like, a bubble so I don't hurt myself anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we it would get that me that. from point A to point B, right, if I just rolled in a ball. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna run Maybe around it all, water. right? You know, bubble across water. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to swim at all that way. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> all right. Uh, Last shades um, might be a little hard. Good, oh, jeez. Just hands sticking out through the top. <laughs> um. All right. So uh, let's get to the top five here. Hey, Tom. Yeah. Okay. Um. Top five. So top five athletes that you follow or that um, you watch or that inspired you? Yeah, so um, I don't know how to feel about this whole top five thing. Just Hello. because it feels like, you know, it feels like my space. Like, oh, who's your top five? And then everyone else is kind of like <laughs> butthurt. And you're like, well, I don't mean to hurt your feelings. Mm -hmm. um, um, the coaches I had mentioned before, I obviously look up to them. Um, when I moved here, um, I actually let's go back. Um, Tara, Lady X captain, and CC. I think hers like Pacheco moves now. Um, those two girls have been so welcoming to me in the parkour community, and even though they live in Denver, they've been like my girls since the beginning. So we've traveled to each other, we've trained with each other, and that's been like really, really, really nice to have. They were my first parkour friends. Um, so them, um, Nathan Schrader in LA, he is plus hack. Um, and then my boys here, Joshing Life and um, Rudy Vader. They're one's powerful, one's flippy, and it's been like a great combination. And then obviously the European guys like George BK and um, Marcio and Pedro, all those guys are so fun to watch. And um, the springiness and just the power that they're able to use and commit with is really cool to see. Those are some pretty solid name drops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, next one then. Uh, this will be your top five training places. So, uh, either places you currently like to train at or that you would want to train at. Oh, that I want to train at? That? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I know that many parkour training places. It's so bad. Um, let's see. Well, I obviously love my garage because it's very close. Um, to my house and my kids are here and so it's really fun um we were, my kid was actually just dressed up in bowser today and we're just like nice. around <laughs> love it very silly people uh, that's great <laughs> costumes make parkour better all right um, i went to florida last month to train with the soso guys um oh and also all the soso guys are so awesome but to train with the soso guys and there's a place in brooksville that's amazing in florida um, near Tampa, I think, or in between Tampa and Orlando. Um, but when we went there, there was this big, huge Christmas parade going on. So that was kind of a bummer because that was like kind of like the the center of the whole Florida trip. Mm. So I, I did want to go back there. Um, I don't know. What are some of the good, <laughs> amazing spots? I, I, I'm not sure if I'm at a point where I can utilize an amazing spot, honestly. Maybe like in a year. <laughs> and then train locally that you really like showing up to um, to train? Oh, locally. Um, we have UNCC, which is a great campus. Mm. Um, I feel like all campuses are great, right? Um, yeah, I'd agree. There's, yeah, I'm going to, I'll be in California for a couple of days. So I'm going to meet up with David Rangel, which is also one of my first friends. Um, and all the, there's also like San Francisco people that have been awesome. Um, awesome. So we're going to meet up at Cal campus and I feel like Cal has great spots too. Um, there's one running for you that I would love to hit, but it's like really big. So I don't know. About <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see some videos from that trip. That'll be fucking sick. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hopefully it was good. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it looks like you already got some, you have some great training places. Like, I mean, just being right at Motive, right? That place. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're talking indoor gyms too. Yeah. Anywhere. I love Motive. Yeah, anywhere. Motive is, it's also just like tall and bright and happy, which is very me. I, I'm very just happy. And just, it's got like a, it's got good energy. I really like it a lot. And then obviously Squadron is where 
own yeah. my home, right? So that's where I grew up. Cool. So that's my that's, I'm, I'm so jealous that those are the two gyms that you've gotten to train at. <laughs> yeah, it's a, <laughs> I, I didn't realize how, how well I had it um, until probably like a year in. I, I had no idea who Daryl was. I mean, this like little kid that was, because right. he was more little than he's big right. now, but like yeah. he's this little kid, you know? Um, so. Well, you had to show up at those gyms for obvious reasons because you're going to go somewhere in this whole parkour thing, like just the attitude oh. and, you know, just where you started and where you're like, it's showing up at Red Bull. Like, I, I, I expect like so much afterwards, like you just, there's a reason why you went to the best places. <laughs> what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and there's a reason why the Whole Foods guy kept on talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, you know, give him, like, tell him, if you ever see this kid again, like, tell him thanks from us. But he got you into yeah. this. Yeah, <laughs> he follows me on Instagram now, oh, so sick. he's seen my stuff, and yeah, it's yeah. pretty funny. I'm like, I, it's like my lifestyle now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's wonderful. So your lifestyle got to Winnipeg, Manitoba. That's pretty <laughs> cool. <laughs> Um, Tom, you want to do the last one? Well, actually, I want to maybe backtrack a little bit. I don't know if we talked about about this. If you still have some some time, yeah. Um, I I would say a big issue in parkour is that it's very male dominated. Um, how do you think that that can change? Like, was there? Did you feel? that for yourself that is harder for you to get in just as a as a woman i don't think it was i don't think i ever felt like it was harder for me to get in because i was a woman maybe it's harder for me to have a community because i was a woman especially because i was okay. a mom yeah. because i i'm not i'm not trying to meet up at night or on the weekends right um and as a woman, I think maybe it is a little bit harder because there's so many women that have been in parkour for so long that they're all kind of friends. And so when you just show up all green eyed and excited, um, you know, they're kind of like, who, who's this Jack? And you kind of have to prove yourself to them almost and just be like, I'm here for a good time. I, I you know, just, let's just hang out. Right. I feel like, um, I think part of the community part is the hardest part. I don't think I was ever scared of joining because I was a girl or felt like I wasn't able to do parkour because I was a girl. I will say the whole protective measures thing, like being okay with maybe if a girl wants to wear shin pads or shin guards or whatever, um, that would probably entice more women to keep on trying. Um, okay. I've had a couple friends that, you know, have maybe like dabbled here and there and they're like, I don't, like, I don't really want to want to have your scars. Like, I don't want my shins to look like yours. <laughs> so, um, I don't want to have your scars. But honestly, but honestly, I feel like, you know, People have been really helpful and welcoming and, but then again, I, I have always trained with guys, right? So mm -hmm. I don't know if I, I'm a different person than most females, I guess. Right. You know, like in the weight room, I've always trained with guys and mm -hmm. so stuff like that. So for me, it feels natural. Although my husband right. asked me why I had to choose a sport that's like, you know, 20 year old boys half naked all the time. <laughs> 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 so true though <laughs> yeah. I feel yeah. weird when I train with young athletes that I'm like do I feel weird or is this just like a family thing yeah it's more like a family <laughs> thing <laughs> yeah, I'm like your mom I'm like your mom yeah I mean I don't really take anything too seriously cool Bob just actually recently did a TikTok video and showed kind of like my flips progression which was really cool because I was definitely afraid of any kind of flips um, right. literally just even rolling on the ground backwards um, and I was looking at some of the comments and it's just really interesting, you know, what people say because you're a female. Um, hmm. but I guess guys get it too, you know, guys huh. get called, you know, douches or what, tw toolboxes? Tool. Tool. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> it's a toolbox? Um, I was, I was looking at a toolbox. Um, yeah. But you know what I mean? So, I mean, I feel like. What, whatever people aren't happy with, that they just put a, project that onto you. So I think when Isn't you think that strange? It, yeah, that's so strange, right? Like, it's not even a type of teasing. It's more like, 
oh, I see you, and um, you know, you're not as good as I think that you should be. So I'm gonna <laughs> make a comment. Yeah. It's, it's really douchebag. But can you pull this off, or like, wh- why is it is this such an attack? Like, obviously, it's yeah. a reflection. Like, you you can't you can't deal with like someone like me doing something like this. Totally, and it's offending you. Can- even if they can do it, it doesn't matter. Why would you push someone down for that? And that's what I mm. never really understood. Um, but, you know, they obviously have their own insecurities and they're unhappy with something, so. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you yeah. feel that when you read those comments, totally. There's this uh, definitely an unrealistic standard people have of perfection <laughs> from other people, hey? Like, <laughs> no one's going to be perfect at this. It's, you know, just doing these things. <laughs> if you don't want to see it, just don't go on this channel, or exactly. don't follow <laughs> my Instagram. Yeah, you can control go some away. things in your life too. Like, just don't follow me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's bad. Just don't say anything. Please go away. <laughs> yeah, I, used to- I will say some of my girlfriends in parkour. Sorry to cut you off. Um, I will okay. say some of my girlfriends in parkour have gotten some like mean comments. Like really? That, and I, yeah, and um, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. You're yeah. not cool. Yeah. But I don't see it that much for the guys. Guys just like say that to girls and just push them down. Does that make sense? That's probably the only thing I've seen that was like, you know, that bad sexist. Right. Interesting, because um, Christian um, Corell from uh, Three Run, I tease him on my personal page for him to take off his shirt, and he always, <laughs> he always tells me no. <laughs> but then I message him. Then I message him privately. I'm like, ha, ha, ha. And he's like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> like, we're funny between each other. Like, it was nothing, like, malicious. Like, uh, first of all, I'm gay. Like, you know, like, you know, it's nice to see with this, that, and the other. And then I tease him because everyone else takes their shirts off, right? And then yeah, totally. it's a running joke with us, but other people might not see it that way. But, you know. Right, right. I mean, it's so funny, right? Like, every parkour guy. I mean, are you even doing parkour if your shirt's off? Yeah. <laughs> Do you lift, bro? <laughs> Do you lift, bro? <laughs> yeah, it's like a thing. It's like that's that's when you know when something's full commit when the shirt comes off. So that's yeah, like, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Going that's true. for Actually, it now. Actually, you know what? I do that in the gym. I realized. Yeah, if I'm wearing like a looser clothing, it's like all right. Yeah, it's yeah. just weighing you down. It's in the way. You get <laughs> yeah, exactly. As soon as I see a male with their shirt off, I'm just like, that's my cue. You know, <laughs> and then I train with my shirt off. <laughs> there you go all right you want to do yeah. this one time or last sure. one yeah i mean i already stole some advice from you earlier but uh oh yeah we like to finish these off with a piece of sage advice so just any 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 advice really that you could think of to maybe someone that's getting into parkour or maybe a parent that wants to get into parkour, what's up? some advice you would give them? Or a cashier um, wants to get into parkour. <laughs> I know, right? Um, well, I I feel like, you know, the beauty of the year, you kind of think about mottos or goals yeah. of the year. And I feel like I've talked to enough moms that told me that I inspired them to do something new. And I feel like that's where I'm kind of headed at this point. So, so you know, 30 and three kids and started something new, you can too. Why not? I've had a lot of moms be like, oh, I wish I started earlier. I wish I did this. And I'm like, well, I wish I learned flips before I turned 30. But I did it, so you can too. So that's probably it. Just why not now? You're only going to get older. Just start now. Mm-hmm. Love it. That's a very good point. <laughs> Love it. Never be younger than you are today. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> good one, Tom. <laughs> um, no, I agree with that. I train with a lady, Amethia, um, locally, and she's 10 years older than me, and um, she's awesome. she's a solid trainer, and she goes, and she gets lessons, and, you know, if she can start at her young age, anyone can start anywhere, and why not? I mean, a lot of people don't want to lift weights or have a kind of regiment like that, but they can certainly move, you know, a little bit more than yoga, right? Exactly. You'll so, never regret having started something, but you could regret having not started something, right? You could always quit later. Just yeah. Now. Yeah. I always told my dad because um, sure. he liked watching TV. So I was like, I wish on my deathbed, on my uh, deathbed, I will never say I wish I watched more television. 
Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Some shows though are pretty good. You can't miss. Hey, them, I'm not right? just counting that. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> I like series too, but I mean, like, I do. I'm starting to do the things that I want to do, and I'll never like regret. You know, like that movie Big Fish. You know, he he saw how yeah. he was going to die. He was going to die in a bed full around, surrounded by friends and family, and this and that and the other. So that's why he took. Um, took chances, ex extraordinary chances, because he knew already how he's going to die. And if he jumped uh, from a back, from an elephant to another elephant to another elephant, did some parkour, he knew he wasn't <laughs> going to die. Because he already saw his death. Right? So That's good. Yeah. That'd be a oh, like good that. knowledge Yeah, have. fearless. Yeah. <laughs> Big fish. That's a good one. All right. All well, right. um, just want to thank you for coming on the show, the program, having the time. Um, and connecting with us and um, this has been another really really pod good podcast with a lot of stuff that we've never talked about with another uh, guest so thank you once uh, again yay it's so much fun well right on if uh, people want to follow you where can they where's the best place for them to do that um, I don't really have like, other accounts other than Instagram so Instagram it's parkour underscore mama and I'm assuming everyone knows how to spell parkour here <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, a lot of parkour guys are really bad at grammar and spelling. It kind of kills me a little bit. <laughs> I'm horrible. <laughs> it's okay. It's part of the. It's part of the culture. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that's it. I'll say bye to everyone listening or watching. And uh, yeah, thanks everyone. All right. Thanks everyone for listening and watching. See you next time. Thanks. Thank you.